Okay, in this video, we're looking at SCAPI for network discovery. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal, and let's go ahead and open up our SCAPI. You do that by typing just SCAPI. So this is going to take a little bit of programming, just be it familiar with things. So we want to first of all look at a specific argument. We want to look at IP. And there's no information right there. So we're going to set a variable equal to our IP. That variable could be anything, but in this example, I'm going to set my variable lowercase i and p. I'm going to set that equal to the protocol IP. Now, from now on, to reference that protocol, I'm going to be using my lowercase. So IP dot display. And that way I can see the different arguments within that protocol that's being referenced by my lowercase i and p. The important thing here is source and destination addresses. So let's go ahead and let's set a destination IP address. So IP DST is equal to I'm going to set it equal to the IP address of my server. So again, I'm going to do an IP display. And you'll notice that the destination is set, and the source automatically gets redirected back to me. So now let's go ahead and let's set up another variable so we can do some pinging. So I'm going to be setting up ICMP, that's the protocol, which you don't have to type ICMP, I guess that's the protocol I'm going to be setting up. I'm going to use the variable name ping equals ICMP, and now I'm going to do ping.display, look at the options. And the type of protocol is an echo request. Alright, so now let's go ahead and run this. We run it by SR and the number 1. The first variable, IP, slash the second variable, PING. And that will actually run with both of these variables. And here I have my response. Notice the source is the server. And the destination is my machine, because this is the response packet that I received. So this is one way of viewing it. Another way of viewing it is Windows equal SR1 IP ping. And so you'll notice we don't actually see the received packet. We know we got it but we need to actually then display it. And so, here is our window display, as opposed to a block. The important things to matter, or to point out specifically, is this TTL. In Windows, if it's a Windows machine responding, it's gonna be a TTL of 128. If it's a Linux machine, it's normally 64. So that's one way to see what's responding. All right, so now the question is uh, arises, can I mask my address? Can I make a different address respond instead? So let's go ahead, we're going to start a new variable. We're going to start with ARP. And we're going to use, we want to view it, so dot display. And that's going to show my address and my source IP. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and create another variable called ARP request. And I'm going to set that equal to my ARP protocol. And underneath ARP request, I'm going to set my 
destination address to my server again. And just so I can make sure that it's the correct information, I'm going to do my ARP request.display. That will show me my information. And it hasn't quite updated it yet. Oh, that's because I fat fingered it. It is P D. And that way I have my source and I have my destination. Now the command is ARP underscore request because that's my variable dot PDST. And let's go ahead and run it. We can do SR1 ARP request or whatever variable name we have. And you will see that as a response, it's responding back to my computer, which is 10.50. And this is the source information. But what happens if we want to manipulate this just a little bit so that we can mask our address? So let's go ahead and our request. What we're going to do is PSRC. We're going to set that equal to a different IP address. 55 doesn't exist in my network, so I'm going to set it so that this machine will respond to 55. And again, I'm going to run it SR1 R request. And you'll notice that my returning address is 10.55. Even if other machines cannot actually access the .55, it knows that when it sends this ping, it's coming from this MAC address. And so this is just a way to mask the IP address. This is just one of many ways. I want to thank you.